Hello and welcome to Knowing Your Archangel Allies, a guide to working with the archangels. My name is Reverend Hope Seged. I am a divine feminine shamanic minister in the wise woman tradition. And with the aid of our spirit team, which is comprised of angels, ancestors, and animal guides, I assist others to resolve anything that is putting them out of disharmony with their dreams and aspirations. I also use shamanic energy work to restore my clients to wholeness. Now I bring over 40 years of applied practical experience with many spiritual traditions and practices. Now that's me in a nutshell and you can learn more about me through my website. I'll make sure to put a link in the description of this video. Now please note that I'm going to be using some terms interchangeably and they all mean the same thing. So when you hear me speak of the universe, God, Goddess, One Love, the One, or Universal Consciousness, I am speaking of the One from which we all come. You may have a different name for that supreme energy from which we were all created from, so feel free to reject mine and interject yours, okay, because it's all the same. It's just that all-encompassing, one beautiful, loving energy from which we all came from. Also, keep this in mind. Angels are often depicted in human form so that it's easier for us to relate to them. But it also causes us to think of them as human with human emotions and, you know, actions and things like that. And that just really isn't true. All angels are energetic beings. They are not human beings with human experiences and human free will. There are they are energetic beings, okay? The only thing they're going to feel is love. That's the only emotion, the only feeling, the only thing that makes them act on our behalf is love. Now, I share more about that in the introductory video. And if you haven't watched that, I urge you to pause this one here and go and watch that one so that you can get some background and basic information on archangels and angels and what they do for us and how they do it, okay? I'm going to put a link of it uh, to that video in the description of this one. Make sure to go and watch it so that you have some strong foundation and understanding about archangels and what they, um, how they intercede for us, okay? Now, this particular video is the first in the series, and let me tell you about Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael is the OG of the angel crew. He is the boss of the bosses. Okay. He is the boss of all the other archangels who supervise our guardian angels. His name literally translates to, He who is most like God. He who is most like God. That's what his name means, and that is also his role. He is God's right-hand man, so to speak. Okay. Um, his main contributions to humanity are alleviation of doubt and fear, his far-reaching protection, and the ability to clear away any negativity, okay? So when I'm casting a circle to do some work, a crafting a spell, what have you, I be calling on Archangel Michael to come and sweep away that circle I just cast so that I can um, not be influenced negatively in that space that helps to create that sacred space, okay? Now, the reason Archangel Michael is referred to as he, is, he, he who is most like God is because he does the work of God. I mean, he literally is like the guy to go to when God has a task to, to be taken care of. So think of it like this. In a corporation, a general manager does the bidding of the CEO of the company. So God is the CEO. Archangel Michael is that general manager. He has the power, the knowledge, and the ability to make things happen. And he supervises the other managers, the other archangels, who supervise the supervisors, which are our guardian angels. So there's this angelic hierarchy involved here, okay? And they all each have a specific role. And we will talk about each role of the Archangel Michaels as this class proceeds. In Archangel Michael's role, he does so much more for humanity than we could ever imagine. Now, 
as I said before, but it bears repeating, Archangel Michael is not an avenging angel. He's not going to go for your enemies, striking them down, punishing them for hurting you. No, that's not what he does. Instead, he loves you so much that he will guide you out of harm's way. He will block negative vibrations and lower vibrating beings from attaching to your energy. And he will alleviate the fears and the doubts that may be causing us to make wrong choices, okay? Often we act out of fear. We act out of our second guessing of what is right for us. And Archangel Michael will help to sweep all that away so that we're thinking clearly and make better choices for ourselves. This is how he protects us. But we have to do our part. We can't just say here here it is do it for me okay he's going to be helping us do it for ourselves now when i was first learning magic my teacher would say do a protection spell but still lock your doors and that is exactly how archangel michael's going to work he's going to intercede for us and he's going to guide us and show us the way but we still have to lock the door we still have to listen to his advice when it's when we get that intuitive hit to leave a situation that is him talking to us so that we can protect ourselves okay i hope that makes sense if not you know just continue to work with this energy and see if it starts moving things in your life and opening up those intuitive abilities that are built into you for your own protection so let's see here um yeah when angels intercede for us, they're going to guide us, inspire us, show us what to do, and it's up to us to do it. That's where our free will comes in. Like I said earlier, angels don't have free will. Archangels don't have free will. Archangel Michael, being the most like God, he still doesn't have free will. He can only act as his own angelic nature um, dictates for him to act, okay, in ways of protection, all right? So when they are inspiring us and guiding us and and helping us in every way they possibly can and we do not follow their guidance we do not listen to their words and their help accept their help often we get ourselves into a big bunch of trouble and then we go see there my prayers were not heard nobody answers my prayers i prayed i prayed i prayed and nobody came to help me but what was really happening is, is that we are not hearing those prayers. We are not following the, that guidance. And it's really on us. It's, it's very unfair for us to blame angels for not hearing our prayers when really it was us that was not listening. The purpose of this class is to help open up those channels of communication so that you can hear those messages better and know what to do, okay, and not be afraid to do it. So I'm sure that you have heard um, the expression, as it is above, so it is below. And what it is telling us is that we have the same blessings, angelic blessings from above, are brought to the earth. And then, so they're down here with us as well. It applies to archangels, okay? Archangels have helpers here on earth. And I'm not talking about earth angels because that's a whole different subject and I'm sure that you've met a few of them who have just miraculously appeared in your life and have helped you out. But I'm talking about a different kind of earthly helper, okay? I'm talking about those crystals and herbs and colors and numbers and things that are, are more of a human experience that helps us to relate to how energy works in our life. These are angelic helpers or earthly helpers for, for our archangels. And each one of these archangels has a list of these earthly helpers to help them out. And I'm gonna tell you about all of them. And now Archangel Michael's earthly helpers are, um, we'll start with my favorite, crystals. His earthly um, helper in the crystal realm is clear quartz crystal and amethyst. Um, I call clear quartz crystal the god crystal because it can do anything. You can program a clear quartz crystal to behave like 
um, turquoise. You can program it to do things, to have actions. And clear quartz crystal actually generates energy. That's why they're used so much in computer processing and things like that, okay? They can actually generate energy. Now, amethyst is known for activating the crown chakra, which makes it easier to connect with the higher consciousness of one love. So I'm sure you might be familiar with the seven major uh, chakras in our core self, okay? Well, above the crown chakra is the soul star chakra, and that soul star chakra is always, always, always connected to God, goddess, the one love, okay? So that um, Archangel Michael helps that connection to God. That's, that's what it's all about. That crystal amethyst is his amethyst, and it helps um, us to connect to the higher consciousness of the one love. Now when you work with these crystals, whether it be amethyst or clear quartz crystal, you're going to want us to spend it between your throat chakra and your heart chakra because both of these are vibrating, uh, physically vibrating um, energy fields that will then expand the energy of the crystal out into your subtle energy bodies where they do the work, all right? So affecting your life on, on all levels. That's where you want to wear them. Uh, the herbs for Archangel Michael are Angelica, Bay Leaf, Black Pepper, Clove, Curry, Dragon's Blood. There's many, many more. I could go on forever, but let's just stick with these basics, okay? Now, you can use these by grinding them up in a mortar and pestle and then burning them as an incense. You can infuse them in pure grain alcohol or maybe a super distilled vodka and um, spray it on you, your altar items, around in your environment, like in your bed if you're having nightmares and um, want to um, uh, put a barrier up against nighttime visitations and things like that, you can use this um, protection spray on your bed, around your bed, things like that. So just be cautious about ingesting it especially if you're purchasing it in an essential oil because they tend to be very, very strong. So you want to be very careful and make sure that it's safe to do so. Uh, let's see. Now, Archangel Michael's colors are gold and purple. Gold is one of the highest vibrating protective elements out there, okay? Not just the metal, but the color, the whole essence of gold is very highly protective. So his colors are gold and purple. The purple is for, um, of course, what I was just talking about with the crown chakra, accessing your higher consciousness. And, <clears throat> excuse me, when you are invoking Archangel Michael's protection, you're going to want to wear these colors. You want to use them on your altar to him. You want to use them for your meditation. You can just, like, just allow yourself to fall into the color of gold and allow it to meld with you and become one with your own vibration the same with the purple and that helps to integrate that vibration deeper into our own consciousness our awareness Archangel Michael's number is the number five this number links um, us to divine grace mercy and Archangel Michael's favor Archangel Michael's favor is protection, okay? So when we use this number to invoke Archangel Michael, we are aligning ourselves with the intention of receiving his grace, his mercy, and favor. And you can do it by um, collecting things in five. So say like you have uh, five of the same amethyst crystals, you could put those in a bowl, put those on the altar, you can speak his name five times, you can build a five-sided altar to him. You can draw a pentacle of protection, naming each arm of the pentacle as an aspect of Archangel Michael's protection. So yeah, that's some of the ways that you can do it. If you open your creative abilities up, I bet you can think of many other ways that you can um, use the number five 
to invoke Archangel Michael's blessing. Now the sound frequencies for Archangel Michael relate to the number four. Even though his number is five, the sound frequency is four hertz, four forty-four hertz, four hundred and forty-four hertz. Those numbers help those excuse me, frequencies help you to align with that protective energy and that higher consciousness energy. I'm going to put a link to a video in the description of this video that you can use to help infuse your whole psyche, your environment, your entire body with the frequency of Archangel Michael's protection. So on that note, we are going to go into our Archangel Michael meditation and um, I will pause this video here while you prepare yourself for that meditation. You're going to want to make sure that you are seated comfortably. If you lay down, you may go to sleep and you want to be alert for this, okay? So be in a seated position with your feet gently resting on the floor or on a cushion. If your feet don't reach the floor, just slide a cushion underneath it and make yourself really comfortable, okay? Turn off the notifications for your devices and set aside this time for this meditation. This is a sitting meditation. If you lie down, you may go to sleep and you must be alert to this meditation so you can actively participate in it. So get comfortable in a chair with your feet resting on the ground or a cushion. Turn off the notifications on your devices. This time and space is just for you. Now take a deep breath and as you exhale, allow your day to flow away. Take another deep breath, feeling your belly gently rise, then feel it fall again as you exhale. Take one more deep cleansing breath, allowing it to flow to your heart space and sweep away all fear and doubt as you exhale. Continue breathing deeply for the next few moments, allowing your body to relax deeper and deeper into your seat each time you exhale. Feel the rise and fall as of your body as it moves with your breath. Inhaling, your consciousness is lifted. Exhaling, you fall deeper into yourself. Take one last deep breath, hold it, and with your eyes still closed, roll them upwards towards your brow chakra.
This motion activates your intuition. Exhale and allow your eyes to relax. Now breathe normally and effortlessly. Using your inner vision, see yourself walking along a forest path. The sunlight shines through the tree branches, causing leafy fat patterns at your feet. As you walk, you get a sense of excitement of what awaits you at the end of this path. The forest path is winding its way through the forest in colors of green and gold. As you continue walking along the path, you see a large crystal mountain in the distance. It is large enough to contain the 14 altars of the archangels. Its shimmering glow continues to call you towards it. The forest path crosses a small creek of glittering water and leads you to the first altar, stationed just inside a small grotto. The grotto is surrounded by lush green plant life, and the inside Walls are encrusted with amethyst. Its rich purple light shines on the grotto walls. Some of these amethysts are quite large. Some are small. They all are a beautiful purple and shine brightly in the sunlight. Take a moment to absorb this beautiful purple amethyst vibration. Running along the back of the grotto is an altar. Take a close look at it. See that it is made of pure gold. Touch it and notice the warmth that radiates from it. On this altar appears a tall gold color candle nestled in a bowl of deep purple amethyst. What else is on this golden altar? Notice all of it and remember it. This is an altar to Archangel Michael, and as soon as you think of him, he appears to you in a golden, glowing haze of light. You may not see his features clearly through this light, but you know it's him by the strength of the protective energy flowing from him.
spend the next few moments asking Archangel Michael any questions you have about your safety, any questions you have about your doubt and fears, and ask him to clear all negativity from you and your life. Archangel Michael beckons to the altar and shows you a gift he has created for you. What is it? You pick it up and you hold it to your heart and it dissolves into your body, becoming one with you. Thank Archangel Michael for his gift and ask if he has a message for you. Listen carefully and remember every word. As you stand there listening to Archangel Michael's message, see his golden glowing light begin to flow towards you. It surrounds you with his holy presence. Take a deep breath and inhale this blessing. Allow it to fill your entire body and exhale all that is not this 
golden essence of Archangel Michael. Stay in this moment feeling the peaceful bliss of his blessing flowing through you. Say your goodbyes to Archangel Michael, thanking him for his gift and his blessing and his presence in your life. Then begin walking back along the forest path, crossing the glittering creek. Following the forest path, noticing the sunlight, the lush green of the forest, continue walking through the sun-dappled forest. And when you're ready, open your eyes and return to this place and time. I hope you enjoyed that meditation. Archangel Michael is now aligned with you. He knows you intimately as his blessing is flowing through you. Whenever you need to call him to you, close your eyes and bring yourself back to his golden altar. Think of him and call out to him. Ask him to alleviate your fear, to protect you from unwanted influences, to guide you to live a life free of worry. Ask him to continue to bless you and he will do so. I wanna thank you so much for participating in this first class of Knowing Your Archangels. The next class will be uploaded next Sunday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I am available for your questions and comments now and always. And I welcome them. So bring them on. And please look at the video's description for some key things to remember about working with Archangel Michael. Now that you know where to find him and how to align with him, you can easily access the aid that he provides. My name is Reverend Hope Suggett for your Essential Spirit Quest, wishing you the brightest of blessings. I love you.